the devices I use are my iPhone, uh, an iPad and the apps. I like to use my phone quite a lot as most teenagers do. It's informal and you just slide up and it's there. You don't have to type in your video into YouTube and go through millions of videos trying to see which one's right for you. You can just click on the video and it, you know it's going to help you. So instead of having to sort of flick through hundreds of YouTube clips, you've got the actual clip you need to watch there and then. Really it's wherever I have internet, so I could get it on my iPad at home, my iPods, if I'm out somewhere. I could get it at school on the uh, school computers or my laptop. Well, most of the time I use the resources are on my iPad when I'm at home because it's just so portable, but like if I was out and about, sort of when I'm here, I'd connect to the internet and just be like quickly watch the video maybe before I go into my next science lesson, so I'm sort of up to date with the next science lesson. So if you forgot to revise the night before, you can just get your iPad out or laptop out on the bus and you can just watch the video once or twice through to make sure it's in your mind and you get it there and then. The key thing I would say is visual learning. I like to look at a lot of things and like take into account so then when I'm in an exam I can picture it in my mind. And it's so helpful then because you, you just open a book and it's boring and you can just put it down and you don't want to learn. But on here it's got the same style questions but it's just easier to understand and it's, it makes it fun, it makes you want to revise. The difference between revising using this and revising using a book is it's a lot more enjoyable and you remember it more, whereas if you use a book it doesn't tend to sink in as well. Well, because we've got some exam style questions in this, when you're, when you're in a test and you're flicking through, you, you, if you hadn't have watched the videos you'd be like, oh, I really don't know what that is and you could lose several marks for it, but because we watch the videos, when you're doing it you're like, oh I remember that from Learners Cloud, so you could write the answer down and you'd get yourself a few more marks which would possibly even bump you up to another grade. Watching the video before the lesson gives you so much more confidence. I mean, you already know what's going to happen during the lesson. The teacher doesn't need to explain it even. You can go straight into the work and get on. I'm going into lessons knowing what I'm going to learn and I can be like, yeah, I know this. So it's quite good. Like I said, at first I didn't know anything about the subject and we were doing it in class. And Afterwards, I could answer all the questions and I can get my work done really quickly. Um, the lesson that stood out the most was long division because I hadn't got it at all before and that was the only thing that had been able to explain it properly to me. If I don't understand what they've said, I would pause it, rewind it and then play it again so then I can remember it better. The videos are easy to use and they're very informative and they like interact with you, they actually tell you like how to do it. I think the overall presentation is quite good because none of it's like really boring, it's enjoyable and watchable. I would really recommend it to my friends, they're kind of losing out and because it's so helpful, yeah. I would definitely recommend this to my friend because if we've got an upcoming exam we can just sort of say, oh, do you want to check Learners Cloud? You will find a video on there to help us and we could possibly get a better grade. Learners Cloud is definitely very easy to use and I would definitely recommend it to all my friends sort of for revision and just for catching up on work. <laughs>